Howdy, howdy everybody. So today is Saturday, May the 9th, 2020. And this morning I'll show you how to run a sale on your eBay store. I'm going to talk a minute about free shipping versus paid shipping. And then I'm going to talk another minute about some of our business practices like when do we insure packages over the certain hundred dollars eBay gives you for priority when we require signature confirmation and that kind of thing I was in a chat last night and I seen them questions coming up so I thought they were great questions Richard <clears throat> so I'm gonna steal them questions and kind of make a video out of them and just give y'all my well, what we do here so it's gonna be kind of a technical video a lot of looking at the computer and me talking so Y'all stick with us. Alrighty, so I want to show you real quick what we're, she's working on. So, we're going to clean out our box room right here. We're going to move all this glassware, okay? And then that stuff up there. We're going to move all that. And we're going to put it on this H shelf right here. So we're moving all this stuff from the H shelf over to these shelves. That way we can keep all these right here, mainly glassware. And um, we'll move this other stuff as we need it. You know, need to. So that's what she's working on. So while she's doing that, we'll leave her to it. Alrighty, so I'm waiting on my computer to reboot here so I can show y'all how to run a sale on your eBay account. And um, I figured I'd take a minute and talk while we're waiting on this about how we insure and require signature confirmation. So we will insure, you know, over the $100 that eBay gives you on priority mail, we'll insure if it's wide we'll extra insurance, if it's over say $250. And uh, so between 100 and 250, I'm not gonna put insure, any extra insurance on. I, I'm kind of a gambling man, I'll roll the dice because generally I have less than $100 in that item. Therefore, if something does happen, I at least get my uh, investment back that I had in the item that maybe broke, got lost, something like that. But if it's over a $250 item, chances are I got right at, you know, probably $100, $150, maybe $125 into it, more than likely. And I just want the peace of mind if it's over that. I'll pay for the insurance on it. But um, as far as the signature confirmation, we do not, I don't require signature on anything unless it's $500 or over. Um, like that snow cone machine, I've sent it out twice now. And the last time it was $390 worth. And I didn't put a signature on that. I kind of rolled the dice with that kind of deal. So $500 and up, and then $250 and up is what we do. And um, it works for us. I mean, if you're not a gambling type person or you don't want to take any chances or maybe your money's super, super tight, then I would, you know, do what you need to do. Let me see, I'm gonna get this thing connected while I'm talking here, maybe. The other thing is the free shipping versus paid shipping. Now this is a big controversial issue in the reselling world. Some people love to do free shipping, some people like to do paid shipping. Me personally, I do a mixture of both. On most of my bigger items, like if they're 10 pounds or more, maybe even five pounds or more, I offer free shipping on that stuff because I've shipped enough bigger stuff, I can just about tell you exactly how much this heavy item is going to ship for via you know UPS FedEx you know kind of I got a gist of how much it's going to cost and doing the bigger stuff like that's a lot easier to me to guesstimate the shipping on than doing a two pound package priority mail or three pound priority mail package I don't know why it just is and um, so generally on my bigger items I do free shipping and I bake in a uh, little bit more than what I think it's going to be to ship it from here to California and if it sells closer good to go but if it doesn't then I'm you know then I'm out all the shipping money that I included into the price 
And whether you do free shipping or paid shipping, make sure you're baking in your shipping price if you're doing free shipping. So, the market price of the item is the market price of the item. It's all somebody's going to pay for that item because that's what the market demands. For instance, so this hat, nice hat, ain't it? Just like this one, except this one, anyhow. So this hat, say, the market price of this hat they're selling for $19.99 free shipping or you know, $14.99 plus shipping or $17.99 free shipping, okay? That right there tells me the market price is between $15 and $20. If I'm gonna do this hat free shipping, I'm not gonna list it at $15 free shipping. I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do free shipping, I'm gonna list it high, $19.99 free shipping. And if I'm doing paid shipping, I'm gonna list it at $14.99 plus calculated shipping, okay? Or $15.50 plus calculated shipping. Either way, the market price of this item stays the same, whether you're free shipping or calculated shipping or flat shipping. Say if all your first class items, you do a flat rate of $5.50, okay? So then I could price this hat at $14.99, $14.50 plus $5.50 shipping, and I'm still coming out the same. So whether you do free shipping or paid shipping, you're you should be the you know the price should be this close to the same now with yesterday when i sold them birds and i was complaining because it went free shipping well that was because ebay ripped a rug out from under me okay i should have been able to get about 19 dollars to 20 dollars for them birds so the reason i was so upset is because instead of getting 19.99 free shipping they sold for what 12.99 free shipping 1256 free shipping something like that so instead instead of doing the 1256 plus 13 or 14 ounce first class rate or a priority flat rate envelope i'm end up having to eat that cost because my shipping was gone so i'm not saying that free shipping's wrong because it's really not i mean bake in your cost you know you bake in your shipping cost to your item so really whether you're paying $14.99 plus shipping or $19.99 free shipping it's the same thing and um so that is neither here nor there some people say free shipping helps your sales it gives you a boost in the algorithm on ebay people want free shipping which most people do and um they want it fast however there's benefits to not doing free shipping for instance if I sold this hat on eBay, okay, the buyer gets it, tries it on, and I charge $14.99 plus shipping, it doesn't fit him. It's too small for his head. He sends it back. I don't have to refund him the shipping price to send it to him because it didn't fit. Or maybe he changed his mind. He got it. He didn't like it. I don't have to refund him the full night. If I would have did $19.99 free shipping, I would have had to refund him. 1999 the full price because I didn't charge shipping but if I charge shipping and he sends this back I get to keep his shipping money and I'm not at the label because he changed his mind or didn't like it that's one of the benefits to it. the other benefit to it is for instance if you are running promoted listings the shipping cost doesn't get the promoted listing fee and that can really help you if you're selling something high dollar say if you're selling an item for $125 plus shipping instead of paying you're only paying the promoted listing fee one two three however much you promote on the hundred dollars whereas if you was doing a hundred and ninety nine dollars free shipping you're getting that promoted fee on the whole hundred ninety nine dollars but i mean you need to sit down and figure out it, out your business model for me to do paid shipping on most things is easier it's easier for my bookkeeping it's easier for me to keep track of stuff and if somebody gets something and they don't like it, I don't have to refund them the shipping label. However, if they do an INAD, which is an item not just described, say they get this hat and they said, oh, the decal's messed up here, that's not right. They're, you're gonna pay for shipping regardless. So just sit down and figure out your business model, which way you wanna go. Paid shipping ain't right, paid shipping ain't wrong, free shipping ain't right, and free shipping ain't wrong. It's whatever you wanna do, anyhow. I think I got this thing working. Let's jump over here. I'm going to show you how to run a sale on the eBay store. So when you're in, go to your seller hub and access your seller hub on eBay, okay? And once you have a store, you can you have the seller hub. 
and you can only run sales if you have a store on eBay. But you want to go to this right here where it says Markdown Manager. Click that. Okay. And then we're going to see these are all my sales. The way I do my sales is I'll change it up. See, like I did 30, 25%, 30, 30, 25, 23, 30, 30. And you can see my dates. That one was three days, one day, two days, two days, two days, four days. I run my sales real close together and what I do is I mark up all the items in my store say 35% 33% something to that nature and then I come in and I run sales constantly 25% off to 30% off but I only do these sales for a few days at a time and I've been doing this for quite a while and um it seems to, to help out and basically if you do it for a few days at a time it puts pressure on the buyers to buy your items so basically you want to go up here create a promotion click that click sales event plus markdown right there I don't run special you can add discount levels to your sale so if items have been listed for so long you put it one thing or categories at one price and everything the other I run a straight sale, so we're going to leave it at 30% off, all my items. And you can select items individually, but you can only do 500 that way. Or you can create rules using categories. This is the one I use. You can do up to 10,000 items per promotion. Create rules. And then right here is where you make your rules. You can select certain categories. I do all inventory. So everything in my store, 30% off. Okay, and then I'll show you here. Save and review. Okay, save up to 30% off. We want to start it right now, May 9th. And we're going to run it through the weekend. So it's still Sunday night. And then we're going to change the time. We're going to run it till uh, 11 p.m. Pacific time. And then in here, I just always put sale. And then you just click launch here. Okay. And then it's pending right now. And then when, <coughs> within the next few minutes, up to 30 minutes, maybe an hour, this thing's going to go live. And then all my items in my store will be 30% off. And that's all there is to it. Just that right there. But um, if you do your sale just a little bit at a time, when a person goes to your listing it'll tell them only 12 hours remaining in this sale and they're going to be like oh i need this item this guy's got it on sale it ends in 12 10 hours two hours however long i need to buy it now before it goes off sale because the chances are that person don't know you run sales all the time and he just searched for that item he thinks he's got to have it right now because the sale's ending so he'll buy it and uh just, just one of the ways we do it here. But yeah, that's how you run a sale on your store. Hopefully that helped you. So she got them two shelves cleaned off and um, moved. I got that on camera, I think. I ain't sure because I was kind of twisting real fast. But um, she moved all this stuff to these shelves. So we got M4, M3. And um, now we're just going to move all our glassware over here. Because eventually I just want this to be glassware. And um, may even make this shelf glassware eventually if we need to. And um, because this stuff's got such big cracks in it, I'd rather use this for the bigger stuff that, you know, I ain't got to worry about, you know, like this. Sitting up here, maybe falling through, something like that, you know. And plus these are plastic, and that's metal, and metal and glass don't mix. Okay, let's take a look at the board here. So, I'm going to do it per week. So, seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First week we started this, we got up 173 listings. May the 7th, which was the day before yesterday, I got up 12. Yesterday, I got up 26. Today, I don't know if I'll get any up or not. We'll see. Um, tomorrow, I'll get some up for sure. Um, my minimum weekly goal for active listings on eBay is 105. So that's bare minimum. I got to get that done every week. 
So that's where we're at as far as that board go goes. Roll tide. Alrighty, everybody. It's Saturday. I didn't have a lot going on this morning, so I figured I'd just talk a little bit about that stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed it. A little more technical than what I normally do. But, uh, anyhow, we will see you guys and gals sometime tomorrow, I reckon. Maybe. May go live tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Anyhow, if y'all enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button for us. And if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Mash it. Tap it. Click it. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.